Hey, Data Factory fans, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's take a look at how to add alerts into your pipelines when you're building Fabric Data Factory pipelines. So if you take a look at my screen, I have a very simple pipeline, but it does demonstrate probably the easiest way to add alerting into your pipelines. What I've done is I've attached from my copy data activity two different outputs. One is green for on success, and the other is red for on failure. So what's going to happen here is when this copy data runs, if it fails, it's going to send an email using the Office 365 Outlook activity in Fabric. This will send an email based on the settings that I've set here in the activity. So that's an easy way to say that when an activity fails, send an email. Now there's other outputs that you can use. You can use any of these for your email. So you could say, for example, that on completion, you want to, let's say, um, send an email simply when the activity completes. So you'll add an Outlook Office 365 activity um, over here. It automatically defaults to the green uh, on success. I'm just going to delete that. Now instead attach it to the on completion. Same thing with on fail or on skip. Any of those options uh, you can use here within the activity output. Now you'll notice that when I started this demo, on success, I'm sending a Teams notification. So if you would rather use Teams for notifications, all of these options can be replaced instead of email with a Teams notification as well. Now this is on a per activity basis. So as you're building out a pipeline, let me remove these other activities for you so you can see this better. Let's say after uh, the copy activity, maybe you have an if condition some control flow, uh, some if then statements and whatnot within your workflow. Um, and let's say uh, after the if runs, let's also have something else on here. Let's say that maybe um, you want to run a notebook after this is completed. So if you wanted to have an email sent on failure of the notebook, you would have to add that here as your next step. And let's move this to on fail. Now I'm going to send an email when the notebook activity fails. Now, as you can see, I attached on success for each of these previous activities, but maybe I just want to know when this completes. All I'm going to do is I'm going to say on the if condition, on completion, I would do the same thing. Instead, this time let's do a Teams notification. There you go. On complete now, we'll send a Teams notification. Now, of course, at the very end of this entire chain, you could have an email that runs when everything is completed, but there's different branches, as you see, as we start to build out a more complex workflow. So what if you want to send a notification when the pipeline succeeds or fails or just completes at the pipeline, not the activity level? Well, in that case in Fabric, what you're going to do is go into the real-time intelligence area of the product and create a data activator. So the easiest way to do that is to go to Create New and just search in here for the data activator. This will create a brand new activator item for you inside of your workspace. And this is what you'll hook up to your, what are known as job events, which one of those types is a pipeline. So the pipeline that I was editing in uh, the demo is called the uh, Demo Pipeline October 18. So if I go into my activator object that I've created and I click on Get Data, I can point this to my Fabric job events. And you'll see that there are four different event types. There's job created, the status changed, succeeded, and failed. Perhaps I only want, only want to know when my pipeline fails. So I can select failed. And then this is already in my workspace, but I could also look across workspaces. And then I'm going to pick the item type of the demo pipeline, October 18. And click next. You can also filter on different properties in there as well. But I'm just going to say um, this demo pipeline. Now, when I click Create, this will create the objects that are needed within real-time intelligence to create this notification system for my pipeline runs. OK, and you can see the default is to send an email. You can also use Teams. The same thing with at the activity level in the pipeline. I can now say at the pipeline level, up level, at one level to the pipeline, send an email or Teams notification when the event that I chose, which is failed pipeline, occurs. So I'm going to say create and start. And now every time that pipeline runs and fails, it'll send me an email. So that is a quick look at how easy it is to add notifications on your pipelines in Fabric Data Factory. And thanks for watching.